My name is Theo Manias. I'm a student athlete at ACC. I play soccer and futsal for the college. My first coach is, was my mother. She started to coach me when I was four years old. She was the first coach and actually she also been the first coach for a few of my friends too because we all started in the same club in Prandelle, so my hometown. Yeah, where I grew up was in Bretagne, so it's uh, the west coast of France. It's, you know, living like kind of like you are in the country, but you are still in touristic places for the summertime. So you're kind of used to have both vibes with like really calm and not too much people during summer, uh, winter time and like the place completely switch uh, atmosphere in the summertime and like you have thousands of people arriving so it's super nice because you have both and actually the place needed to leave because it's a touristic place but it's when you are a little bit older it's, all, it's also great because you can party with more people right I've lost love for the sport a little bit uh, a few years ago and actually even last year. It has happened twice in my life. So the reason where the first time it happened was when I was playing for Lorient, so like a formation center for a professional team when I was in U12. It, it is mostly due to the pressure that the coaches and everything were putting on you when you're only kids. It is probably not what I wanted at this time. Maybe too young to have that much of pressure on you. You're a kid, you see like this dream life of being a professional without seeing the bad sides of you gotta walk out making decisions that will affect your life, like leaving home and everything. And you just see the good side of it. And yeah, like it's the dream, ask a lot of kids in Europe or whatever you want, what do you want to become and it will be professional athlete for a lot of time, which it was the case for me. It's just, this is something else, like being a good athlete and being professional is like, you have a huge gap and I know my qualities, but I know my defaults and I'm just not good enough for that. Theo's skills are exceptional, I mean we have a few players that have played kind of at a high level, a couple anyways, so there's a couple guys that maybe skill-wise are close, but he's also like having another coach out there, he just brings so much knowledge that even Adam and I are learning from him, he's a guy that the players respect what he says and he knows how to convey his message appropriately, so yeah, well respected by everyone on the team. It's really nice playing with them, you know, it's always great to go out on field giving everything for the team and all the other players are doing the same so it's just like you give it all for your friends. I think that coming here was what I needed to really find again this passion for the game and like really feel that I can give something and bring something to the team. That's something I was needing, I think, you know, for the self-confidence in the sport is super important. And I think it was a mix between losing motivation back then and the feeling that I was not bringing as much as I expected to the team. So it's like a bad cycle that was starting over and over and you're just into it. So you can't really go out without changing everything around. So coming here really, it was a new start. So it's, it was really what I needed to find this love and passion for the game again. And now I'm fully happy and I think I'm doing great so far. So yeah, it's just having the chance to live my dream and being here is just so nice.